Okay, y'all. Um, it's me. I'm back. First, um, y'all about to see me do this makeup look. I'm not doing my eyebrows orange again or red or ginger, however you want to call them. Um, I just wanted to see how this wig looks with the black hair. So that's what I me. I'm sorry, not with the black hair. Oh my god, with the black brows. <laughs> it. Uh, I know it's a pretty long video. But I wanted y'all to see how I did this eye look. It was my first time doing it. It was semi-complicated because I wanted it to be like fall to go with my hair and just be a good look for everything like blending together. Because I feel like when you have a certain color hair, you can't just be doing anything to your face. Like you can't just put on any color. I mean, could I do a blue eyeshadow look with this wig? Mm, probably but I wouldn't like it as much as this look that I'm gonna do um my backdrops are like all up so I just decided to do this white one just because I wanted y'all to be able to really see what I'm doing and I know the light is changing a lot I think it's because I have this plain back like white black background and I have on this colorful scarf this is my normal scarf that I use to lay down my edges, whatever. This is the scarf I needed for the wig install. But I didn't feel like looking for it. And mind you, I have like three of these. I just literally just didn't feel like getting up and looking for it. These brows, y'all know what I'm using. ABH in the shade Ebony. I had glitter all over my eye from picking up. I don't know what I picked up, but it was all over the place. But my brows were... I was so happy to just do them the regular way. <laughs> I think I, that's why I did them so well. I was so happy too. Um, Y'all know I'm already using Too Faced Born This Way in this shade. I'm pretty sure this is maple. I haven't looked for um, my shade Mocha in a while. so. And this is the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, uh, the putty. It just feels really good. It feels like a moisturizer. When I put it on, it feels really good. I'm gonna let this dry down. I would have put more. I meant to put more, but I'm like doing a million things at once. And I'm gonna actually put on more, I believe, um, concealer. But yes, this is the Maple. Y'all know LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany. Uh, yes. Y'all see what I just did to my mouth. Just, just mind your business. You'll see what I did, okay? Um, I don't need to do this because I have full lips, but if I feel like I don't with certain makeup looks, it doesn't look right. So I put the con contour there. It's because it's going to give the illusion that my lips are actually like even plumper when it, I'm letting it dry down. I'm supposed to like let it dry down before I blend it out. So that's why it's still there. Please don't come for me in the comments. I know I look crazy, but I'm going to do my foundation on top. And usually I would I wouldn't mind using the same beauty blender and putting this all over, but I'm trying to make them I'm trying to not blend them too much. I think I ended up blending it too much. I'm not used to doing it this way. But like I try to say, I changed my face makeup enough. So when y'all watching me, I'm not doing the exact same thing every time. Because if y'all like how I do it this way, the end result I think is always different. Um that's why I didn't fully blend it in because I'm putting it under my foundation. But this is the Revlon Color Stay, and it's in the shade, it's like the 410, and I believe the shade, let me look at my little notes. Um, girl, where did I write this down at? Um, cappuccino, there we go, Lord. It was at the top of the page, I don't know what I was looking. But I'm going to do it again with the concealer because I feel like I lost it. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be. Y'all, this color, like the lights is really, I'll probably never do this white backdrop again. And if I do, I'll probably wear a different shirt. Because I think the white on white, and it's just confused. My lights were so confused. This is my NARS. I haven't used this in so long. Um, This is my NARS concealer. It's in the shade uh, Caramel. Um, Yeah. It's way, It's it was too light when I first bought it but I'm putting it just on top of my other concealer just so it's really brightening up my face because y'all can y'all can be able to tell how bright it is I kind of like how the lighting is right now because this is how my face looks in the mirror so how y'all seen it like right this second 
it's how I see it. There we go, it cleared up somewhere. Cause I be, sometimes I can't tell, but I be giving very much skin. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Like my skin isn't perfect and yes, my skin has texture because it's skin. I don't know, like, I think people be waiting for your skin to look super smooth. I feel like you'll have on too much makeup. If my face is looking really smooth, trust me, it's because I put a lot of makeup on. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's because I put a lot of makeup on. I try to leave my foundation off of where I'm putting my concealer at. You know, that's a big no-no. It look real caked down. And um, my under eye has, like, natural crease. So I definitely don't want my foundation and my concealer. It has changed my makeup for the better you know so if you're planning on putting on concealer under your eye don't put no foundation under there girl dang because y'all might be like well you just put on concealer then you put on foundation then you put on concealer over it yes but I wanted this to be a super I don't know what the people call it I, I guess it's say glam but I don't know, like, I do, like, soft makeup half the time if I'm not putting on a lot of foundation. But when I put on a lot of foundation, I'm trying to, my face is probably trying to be beat, okay? I'm trying to bake a little bit. I'm trying to beat, okay? So I'm going to do them more because for me moving, I guess everybody just wants some really, like, cakey, not cakey because I don't want to say it like that. But they wear a lot of makeup. When they get their face done by the makeup artist, it's a lot of makeup. Uh, I feel like you can achieve the same thing without as much because... I still didn't put as much as I used to put on. One, because it's still hot here to me. And my face is semi-oily, so I need more powders. So that's what I do a lot of. I do a lot of powder. But she's very much smooth. Very much giving cheekbone, okay? Because I know y'all see that contour sharp. I already know I'm about to put this blush on my favorite part um, this is elf this is brick red it's very soft that's why when I like went into it it started like falling all over the place but I'm also gonna put this on my nose um I like how it looks when I put it on my nose a little bit I should have did a highlighter I, I don't think I did I didn't put any highlight on Mm, I mean, I still look good, but I'm sad I didn't do that. But I put a little more red on my face. Um, I like how it looks. I'm going to use my bronzer. Trusty Dusty. Always, well, I guess never dusty. Um, Fenty Beauty. And this is the Coco Naughty. I always want to say Naughty Coco, but I swear to y'all, it's Coco Naughty. I think. Now I'm second guessing myself, but I'm pretty sure. I like Naughty Coco, but whatever. But y'all see my top lip? Okay, it's more defined because I have the contour underneath it. I know you see it. So that's why I put that like that. So I guess it's more, I've learned it from um, my fellow Caucasian girls. Oh, I also ran out of setting mist. But don't worry, I have two because the other one's empty. And I'm just going to press it in with my Beauty Blender. I should have waited a little bit more for it to dry down a little bit more, but... I pushed it in because my, my skin was giving a little bit too much texture. But period, I know you see her skin looking good. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm going to finish my brows a little bit. I know um, my forehead is big. If y'all haven't noticed, I know y'all see me. But I don't like for my eyebrows to be super thin. And someone had commented like, your eyebrow... It's too long, like, but look at all my eyebrow, like, my space, my eyelid space. Girl, if I made my eyebrows short, they would look crazy to me. So I'm going to be using all these palettes. This is the Modern um, Renaissance by ABH. Um, also, I had the ColourPop. It is called California Love. I'm going to be using that one the most. And I have Jackie Ina's palette with ABH. Um... I forgot what I asked him to do. I asked my husband for something. Oh, we were watching Squid Game? So I was trying to hurry up and do this. So y'all gonna see me do one eye. I know this is a long video, but it's one eye. I'm telling you. I was really trying to do my best on here because I have never done it this way. So I'm gonna be in the Jackie Anna palette and I'm taking, uh, I believe this is called Edges first. And I'm just gonna carve out this like, I guess it's a wing. It's, a, it's gonna be a cut crease, but... 
I'm just freehanding it. I kind of know what I want it to look like. I just saw one picture. Well, I saw a couple pictures, but I was like, I'm going to try to do this. Um, but mind you, when I see pictures of things, I don't, I'm usually on Instagram and it's usually on a white woman. So I have to use different shades and different colors. I don't have to, but with my hair color and everything and the eye makeup she did was not the same from what I wanted to do. So, um, I'm well above my crease. I know y'all can see cause my like is, you see where my natural crease is. It's like a little bit hooded. But luckily, I just have a lot of eyelid space. I'm taking this color. It's ginger. And I was going to blend this out a little bit. I'm just patting it on because I didn't want to really lose the line. And you know what I should have did? I shouldn't have set my um, concealer that I put on my eyelid. You want it sticky. I know that sounds weird. I always used to set it and then wonder why my eye makeup wasn't blending the way I wanted to. Whatever. You do not want to set it like I did. But I already did it. So I'm going just above um, edges and I'm going to take the shade Credit. Y'all, I even remembered the name of the shadows for y'all. Okay. Uh, I'm taking it right above and right underneath. And I just wanted it to show up more, but I didn't want to lose the color edges. It's like a orange, a dark orange. Um, probably would have been like the best orange for my eyebrows that one day when I was trying to find it out. But I'm just going back and forth. And I wanted to show y'all how much time it actually took me to do one eye for my first time. The second eye didn't take as long, plus I was also watching Netflix when I did it, but I was trying to hurry up and do it because my son was trying to grab my palettes. But uh, yeah, I just wanted y'all to see it in real time. I don't know why y'all like get on Instagram and be like, oh, like you should do this look and they'll send me something. And I'm like, it's cute, but it's a whole bunch of jumps. You know why it's a whole bunch of jumps? Because baby, she's blending it. It takes a long time. I'm trying to do it on camera. So I have to, I try to do them without as many jumps. I'm trying to take this light yellow and it, for me, washes it out. Like it blends it up some, but it seems like it's washing it out. I don't remember the name of this yellow because I don't do it on the second eye, which I highly recommend do what you do on the first one on the second one. But it's not going to matter because I'm going to go in with a different color and going back and forth, it's going to completely be gone. Y'all don't really see it anyway. But, um, and neither did I, trust me. It's not the lighting. It ain't there, okay? <laughs> it probably would have been there if I didn't set my, my lid with powder. So, I'm going and I'm taking, um, this is, a uh, ooh, girl, I actually don't remember the name of this one. But, um, I'm just trying to, like, soft blend it. And I'm losing the orange that I initially put on there. But credit is still there. Which, this would have been fine, but I was just trying to make it look a certain way. I wanted both colors to pop up. Um, and that's why I just go in and go back with edges and really like put that on there. I'm cutting this the inside, like um, I'm gonna put concealer on the lid. So I'm just trying to get these colors because I'm trying to just etch out around them. And when I say, yeah, this is me taking credit and just trying to blend them on there. Because then when I cut it out, I wanted them both to show up. I'm showing you this, though, this way. Not because I like making long videos. If anything, I would rather just make super short videos. But um, that takes even more editing. But I wanted to show y'all because I feel like no one really takes the time to show you step by step. And really how much I'm blending. How much I'm going back and forth. Makeup is fun. I like doing this look. This was nice. I like it coming together yeah I got a little frustrated um in the beginning but oh yeah sorry I had to the time on my camera but um I wanted to make sure I wasn't running out of time so y'all saw every little bit that I was doing um I didn't know exactly what colors I was using I think I want to go in with a brown at one point too to just give it more depth but I wanted these to show up on me and y'all to really see them and for it to be more of a dramatic eye, yeah, that's the color I usually contour with from the Pro Highlight and um, Contour Palette that I use. But I just really wanted to get that in there because when I cut my crease out, I always end up losing a lot of the color I, and all the work I do. So what I've learned when it comes to me and how I do my makeup, take your time. I just kept putting that really sharp line of credit back in. And I believe I'm going to go back in and do it with um, 
edges as well, the orange color. But I really wanted it to stand out. And I'm not trying to go above what I'm doing because I wanted it to be really etched out, really precise. I was, and I'm trying to use the same brushes so I don't have to keep using, reusing clean brushes, messing up and grabbing wrong brushes or whatever. So I'm using like the same brushes I initially used. So yeah, that was me putting edges back in. And I just, I just wanted to make sure it was blended, but not disappearing. But I think this is when I'm just going to be like, okay, concealer time. So I'm going to take the NARS one that I used earlier and please do what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm looking in my mirror and I am looking down and I'm making sure I keep looking down because I don't want this concealer to get anywhere but where I'm putting it. I want it etched out. I want to, I'm taking my time. Like I said, I have this sped up and I only have this sped up like two times, I believe, not four. I'm not sure, but uh, I was not going this fast. Um, and then when I did the second eye, I didn't take as much time and my eye shape wasn't as precise as I wanted it to be. But I was just making sure that it was set a little bit when I did it. And I'm going to clean it up on the side because I wanted it even sharper on the edge. But yes, y'all, take y'all time. This is not a look like, oh, let me just hurry up and do this, throw this on real quick. Maybe, you know, maybe from watching it. But since I didn't watch anyone do this step by step by step by step, and mine was more like, oh, this is um, ColourPop. Ooh, what is the name of this one? It's like straight talk or something. I forgot what it's called. But the color I'm taking come on, over it is actually like more of a white color. But since my concealer is more a little yellow base, it was like a white, white gold. It came out more gold gold, which I liked. It looked a lot nicer. Um, the palette I used was Give It To Me Straight. And then the um, shade I'm taking from it is called Upfront. There we go. I wrote this stuff down. I just couldn't see. I'm in the dark. But um, yeah, I just wanted to put that on top. And then I'm taking an orange. I cannot tell y'all. I think this is the same. <laughs> I think this is the same orange from when I did my brows. Because this brush, I forgot to um, get it off my table. So I did actually put just um, an orange underneath. Just because credit was giving me more purple. And... I couldn't see edges as much as I wanted to and I didn't want to go back because I already etched out everything so I just left it um y'all I got this right on my lid when I was doing this and I was so mad <laughs> you see me I'm just like it's on my eyelid um I saw this on TikTok like a few seconds before I did this and it was like an easier, easier way to put on um my mascara for me to get close if I would have did that initially I wouldn't got it on my lid but I think I had um, my dip brow on my finger because it got like a little bit under my eye as well. I'm going to notice it in a minute. So I'm going to be trying to get it off. This fell out. Um, this was more orange. Like I said, it had disappeared. And look how much it popped up. Y'all, I was like, oh my God. But I like doing that to the top. I'm pretty sure this is the same orange I use underneath. I do not know the name of this one, though, and I don't have it written down. Um, I'm just trying to blend it out so it doesn't look too crazy. But um, I like putting that orange up there because I had the orange underneath. And it went, I think it blended well together. And I'm going to go back and <laughs> put credit right back on there. I wasn't playing. I wanted it sharp. I wanted it etched out. I wanted it looking right. You know, so yeah, I just took a little more up front and I just patted it on. I let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna do my uh, I haven't done this in a long time. I bought a black eyeliner, y'all. I haven't put black eyeliner, this used to be my jam. I always had some black eyeliner. Um, and I'm just putting it underneath, and I can tell y'all how long it's been because I was doing this and my eyes started watering. 
Oh, okay, there's the black. Yeah, I got some of my mascara on the bottom of my face. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. I can get it off. But it really wasn't trying to come off. I was sad. Usually, if I didn't do my powders, I would have been like, oh, just, you know, put a little more concealer. But I, w I don't like doing that over my powder. So I just left it. Couldn't really tell anyway. So I'm going to do my eyelashes. I did. These are super long. I'm not even going to hold y'all. That's what I was showing y'all. Like, But you can't really see on the camera. They are super long. Like, even when I put it on, it was touching the top of my eyelid. And I looked for this duo lash glue forever. I could not find it. Make sure you bend up your lashes. Don't be weird. Like, if you don't, like, roll them and, like, make sure they're, like, arched before you put them on them. And I should have did it more because it's still going to be hard for me to put them on. Um, also, if you started doing this like me, like eyeliner, this is the most secure way to keep your lashes. For me, that's, what, that's how I feel. But when you're taking this makeup off, it is the hardest part to get off. I have washed, makeup wipe, whatever you want to say. I have to scrub, and I hate it. I have to scrub to get um, that like eyeshadow right there that's off because it's under glue, so it's annoying. I really hate it that I didn't have tweezers for this. Even I hated that I didn't even have long nails for this, okay? This was the hardest thing to do without a tweezer. Y'all, these are so long. I don't know if you can see it from the side, but they're like so long. And I thought they were great because I didn't want eyeliner. I wanted y'all to be able to see my eye makeup. Plus, since I made that little like, like sharp in with my eyeshadow, why would I put eyeliner? I didn't want to do that. So I really wanted y'all to be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, me putting on this lash was driving me nuts. It's always, always the inner corner for me. All the time, always. Y'all see me, I'm just like, oh my God, I can see that it's not on right. It's driving me nuts. And when you don't have eyeliner on, you can't hide it. You can't hide it. So it has to be fixed. And I'm not really a, let me take the lash off and try again. Because you saw how I put on that glue. If I would have ripped that lash off, my whole my eyeshadow would have been tore up. And then I'm gonna do my lips so y'all can see that part. I'm gonna do another uh, my contour. If y'all talk about something about my lips being dry, why would I put on lip gloss or anything before? I need it. I need my lips dry before I put on my stuff. Okay, I need it to be that way. I put on moisturizing glosses and stuff on top anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to pat it in because I'm not waiting for this to dry. I believe I used um, a red actually. I, I can't remember, but let me see. I can't remember resin. I don't remember in what order. So I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade, um, I did write this down as well, Creme Boulet. But it got lost because I put so much contour, which don't get, don't worry, I'm going to try again. That's creme brulee, sorry. I was looking at it because I knew I had to remember for later. But this came as a sample because I ordered so much stuff from Sephora and they asked me what I wanted. So I got this. That's why it's so much smaller than my other ones. Um, but it wasn't showing up the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to just take some of it off my beauty blender I didn't want anything to really be gone and I'm gonna take a, a shadow oh okay I just take translucent powder there we go and I just kind of set it so what I put on there it won't move and I can go on top because I wanted it more I didn't want to get rid of my contour but I still wanted the the color and that's yes that's how I wanted it and then I'm using my for lifer um, gloss that I make 
soft and silky jazz beauty it's gonna be in the link go shop with me but that's my topper gloss and then here she is here she is a baddie as usual who is she i'm gonna tell you who she is that girl period period um this is the last time y'all see this wig though <laughs> But yes, um, that's my second eye. You see, I, I really did like how this turned out. I feel like it was very, very, very good look. It was very hard for me, even though you would think, oh, it's not that bad, but it, it was a hard look for me to do. But I really hope you guys like it, enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.